All right, so we're going to just do a basic review on the little potato cucumber. And I've been selling little potato cucumbers before that were much different. And so I, I took those down from my website. The page is still there, but I stopped selling the cucumber seeds for those because they're very different than what you're looking at right now. Those cucumbers were more like a round little ball, and they were very white in color with the crackly effect. These are totally different. This is what a little potato cucumber should look like. And why I didn't get those the first time, I don't know. But I decided to grow seeds directly from the seed packages again, and this is what came out. And so I did a little research on it, and basically this is what a little potato cucumber should look like. So let's, uh, let's give you a little bit of a better look at it. Look... A little closer look at the skin on it. And this is what, what a little potato should look like, guys. Okay, what I was showing before was not necessarily what a little potato cucumber should look like. Something was strange about that cucumber, and um, so I pulled them down. So if you did buy seed for that, consider yourself lucky, because I'm not selling the seed for that no more until I can grow that out again and then see exactly if it's coming true or was that some kind of a hybrid. I don't know, but that's how it came out of the seeds originally. That's how they came out of the package. So that's what it looks like. I'll show you another one. Here's a larger one. As you can see, it looks very similar to the uh, sickum cucumber, except the sickum is, the cracks are much less. You can see that the cracks here are very prominent on it. You can see the skin very prominently. And um, they range in size from like this to much smaller. On average, they'll look like this. Just like a potato, basically. And so let's cut one open. I'll show you the inside. Okay, it looks like a typical cucumber on the inside. Flesh is a little thin on the outside. It's mostly all seeds. Now, the thing with this cucumber is if you pick them relatively pretty young, they'll look something like this. And they won't be crackly yet, but they this is a small one, so it crackled right off. But if you get to these before they start to turn crackly, uh, the seeds don't fully develop like you see in here. And you can eat them very easily. So once they get developed like this, you really can't do anything other than to collect the seeds and maybe eat the, the rind. And that's really it. And that's all you could really do with them. But um, here, I'll show you the other side. But that's, that's what it looks like. Okay, so let's uh, cut a piece off and do a taste test. I'm obviously going to take the seeds out. No point in me trying to eat those because they're fully developed seeds. Kind of hard to cut into. It's like cutting into a dinosaur. Alright, so we could do a bricks on this, I guess. We'll see what the brick says. Now, it's not going to be any sweetness, but the... It, bricks doesn't just pick up sweetness. It also picks up the mineral content within the... Um, it picks up the minerals inside of there, too. So if it's highly mineralized, it'll pick that up. So it's not going to be sweet, but let's see what it does anyway. <laughs> very, very low. About two and a half on the bricks. So what you're seeing in there isn't sugar at all. That is that two and a half is the mineral content, period. Because there's no sweetness in cucumbers. Very good. Even fully uh, even as it's fully ripe, I mean this thing, guys, is you shouldn't be eating them like this. I mean it's not gonna kill you, but you're supposed to eat them when they're much younger. But let me eat a couple more pieces and uh Okay, so <clears throat> basically at this stage. If you eat them younger, they're going to pretty much taste like a regular type of pickle or cucumber. But if you eat them at this stage, they're really going to re-ripen and the flavor of that is really going to intensify. 
So the seeds become very bitter and more bitter than any other part of the cucumber. So it's very tarty, should I say. You kind of want to start puckering up your mouth. But if you just stick to the rind and scrape out all the gel from the seeds and everything, the cucumber itself has a very nice smooth flavor. The skin, even though it's kind of on the rough side, it really, um, it really breaks up nice with the rest of the cucumber. It's very easy on your palate. The skin might be a little bit on the rough side, but in general, it's, it's pretty easy to eat. It breaks up pretty nicely. But the skin, in some cases, for some people, might throw them off. So you might want to peel it first. For me, I like the skin. It's nice to eat that. It's nice and rough. It actually kind of scrubs your tongue a little bit. It's so um, abrasive-like. And even my knife is having a hard time cutting through the skin. Either that or it's dull from cutting tomatoes. But um, it's an nice cucumber, guys. I mean, this is definitely uh, a fun cucumber to grow. It's very productive. I mean, I probably got about 25 or 30 of these cucumbers already off of there. And um, I'm starting to eat them young now. I'm, I got enough to get seed from it. So I'm eating all, them, all the uh, cucumbers now young. I'm not letting them mature anymore. So that's it. That's uh, just a quick look at the little true little potato cucumber. And I will offer seeds to this true version of it on my website. I'll leave a link it below in the description. I'll also leave whatever information I can get on the little potato cucumber in the description. And then that way you can read about whatever I put down below. And you can also visit the website to read it about it there. All right, so that's it. That's just a quick review on the little potato cucumber, the true variation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.